And the first thing you're going to realize when learning to code is that there are practically uh, an unknown amount of programming languages out there to learn. So if you Google about it, most of the time you're going to find that the most popular programming language out there is going to be JavaScript. And you may like to get into that if you are interested in software development for websites and the internet. You are going to learn soon enough that besides JavaScript, you're going to need to learn how to code HTML5 and CSS3. The first one is going to be about how to create the basic structure of a website. And in the industry, we call these websites static websites for the, for the fact that once you open the website, it doesn't really change much or at all. So unless you get them to change using JavaScript or even CSS. So HTML is going to define the document, the web document. Um, uh, HTML5 is going to allow you to use uh, multimedia, I guess. Uh, you may be able to insert not just pictures, but m motion video, which is the norm to, uh, these days. So no surprises there. Um, what well, the CSS3 is a standard that is used to uh, apply the the how the appearance of the website is going to be. Uh, you can do that in HTML, I guess. Uh, yet today, the modern the modern um, websites require you to apply the so-called style to the web pages using CSS3. Uh, these are very um, static uh, code languages. And JavaScript is the one that actually delivers the behavior that you see on sites like like uh, YouTube, for example. So uh, I would recommend that if you want to get your your toes wet on software development, you may actually play a little bit with CSS and HTML. And when you feel more comfortable. Uh, working with that, you move on into JavaScript. So that's about that. If you keep Googling um, about if you what you are really interested in for joining the ranks of the programmers or coders is just basically to get money and you do some Googling about that, you're going to find soon enough that Java, not JavaScript, Java, um, is very is a very popular language in the enterprises and that many companies will pay you very well uh, if you join them to do some work on java so and java is used on for developing android apps at the moment too uh, yet i do believe that google's decisions are geared towards uh, leaving java as the main programming language and embracing Kotlin. So I really doubt that in the next two to three years we are going to be seeing Android developers using Java. Uh, I don't really, uh, I think that uh, most people is going to be moving on to Kotlin soon enough just for Android development. And the Java guys are going to keep doing what the Java guys does. Uh, the, the Java programmers can get their money not from Android apps, uh, but from the fact that they are building uh, ent enterprise programs to manage database, for example. So if you really want to get uh, money doing programs, you may like to get into Java and building applications that have to deal with uh, a lot of files in complex file systems and a lot of data on very large databases. So that's what I use in Java for anyway. So that's it, I guess. Um, I do believe that there is a lot of, of work out there yet for beginners. Um, I do believe that those two industries are going to be more than enough. And uh, I don't know. 
talking about what a beginner should learn, uh, I don't think that it should take me too long to talk about that because most people is going to most people is going to give up uh, just from that. So yeah. So if you actually survive and yet your and yet your interest into more complex topics, I guess that the next step would be databases. Because even if you are working on websites, databases are pretty much the backbone from any decent website. If, you pl if you're planning to build um, an online store or even a, si a simple chat application on, on the web, you're going to find pretty soon that those applications require you to first um, create users and guess where all that data about the emails and the passwords is going to land. Obviously, it's going to be landing on a database. So databases are pretty much the backbone of the software development industry. A lot of things depend on them and not many people talk about them. And I happen to work on that. So yeah, I guess that's it. So if you are still interested about uh, learning to code on 2019, after listening to this, please give me a call. I am on Twitter at, uh, at Jorge Escobar. And I'm going to be adding that to the podcast description. So this one is going to be a little short because I want to keep the pace of doing one every single day. And at the moment, it is the 11 and 53 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I guess I'm going to be um, cutting this one short. So, okay, so see you later.